So in landscape, for energy conservation, one of the main things that we want to do is make your tree as vigorous and as healthy as possible so that you get the maximum life out of your investment. And one of the important parts of that is pest management and making sure that you don't have pests in the landscape that are going to reduce the life, the health, or may even kill your plant. So there are an estimated 10 million species of insects. Not possible for us to know all of them that are there, the names of all of them, or even be able to identify them. And in fact, only about 1% of all of those insects are even pests on your landscape plants. So the first thing is to plant things that are going to be resistant to pests. So choosing cultivars that are less prone to getting insects, that have the characteristics that you want, and that are going to do well in the environment that you're going to put them in. The next thing is to regularly go through and just take a look at your plants and see what's going on. Is the soil moisture good? Is the plant looking healthy? Uh, are the nutrients in the soil good? Do you see damages? Or do you see evidence of insects on there? There's so many different insects and there's so many different kinds of damage that you would want to look for. Some of the insects in the landscape can kill your pet, your plant or your tree or your shrub with only just a few insects, such as some of the bark boring beetles. Other pests like scale insects, I've got um, a camellia scale here, you can see this camellia leaf has some chlorosis or yellowing on the top of the leaf. And we will, when we look on the underside of that leaf, we can actually see evidence of that scale insect on there. So not only does that mar the beauty of the plant itself, but it can actually reduce the vigor of that plant and make it more susceptible to other issues as well. Now, pesticides are not the first thing that you would want to actually do when you, when you see issues on your plants. Sometimes, just providing better moisture or optimizing your soil conditions can make that tree strong enough or that shrub strong enough so that it doesn't, it can overcome those, those pest infestations. Sometimes, knowing whether something is a pest or beneficial or just an indifferent insect there in your landscape can be very important as well. There's lots of insects such as scale insects. Um, you can see here I've got a, a plant that has a lot of lacanium scale on it or Fletcher scale is what uh, on this particular variety. There are galls that can get on plants as well. So how do we know if this is going to kill our plant or cause damage? Sometimes we can know. Sometimes you can see we know camellia is likely to get this camellia scale on it. That can be fairly easy to identify. Some of these other things can be a little bit more complicated. So you go out in your landscape, you can take samples if you notice something that's wrong or doesn't look quite right with your plant. And you may need to send it to someone like myself, an entomologist that can use microscopes and other different types of diagnostic tools to figure out exactly what the issue is. Sometimes what we think uh, are insects could actually be a disease or a, some other nutrient issue, and in which case a pesticide would not be the right option and may actually do harm by reducing the beneficial insects in the landscape. 